Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A few Sioux Falls police officers received minor injuries after being called to a home in the central part of the city for a report of a suspicious vehicle. Police say a pickup was parked and running in a driveway on South Center Avenue. Officers say the truck was stolen and the man inside fought with police. Once he was arrested, police found meth in 28-year-old Juan Manuel Garcia Pacheco's pocket. He is charged with having a stolen vehicle, having a controlled substance, and resisting arrest. A registered sex offender is facing new charges accused of raping his own child. According to court documents, Kenneth Vance is charged with rape, incest, sexual exploitation of a minor, and having a childlike sex doll. Court papers say the victim is 10 years old. In 2013, Vance was sentenced to four years in prison for having child pornography. His next court appearance in this case is scheduled for April 25th. While responding to a fire at an apartment complex on Tuesday, the Brookings Fire Department discovered a significant amount of drugs and a gun that shouldn't have been there. Once the fire was out, the Brookings Police Department searched the apartment and found over half a pound of marijuana, two different prescription pills, and a handgun. Officers arrested 25-year-old Rashad Wiggins for several drug charges and a firearms violation. The impact of the school shooting in Nashville has been felt by parents here in South Dakota. Emily Thomas is a volunteer with Moms Demand Action. Her son Aiden was a freshman at Harrisburg High School in 2015 when a school shooting happened there. Afterwards, she decided to join MDA to try and end gun violence in the U.S. She says these school shootings cannot become normalized. You can go on and on, and what's sad is there are so many in between and you don't even have the ability to really process them until another one happens. And it's, it's just time to do something. Moms Demand Action was founded after the Sandy Hook school shooting in 2012. The organization is working to pass gun safety legislation across the country, including here in South Dakota. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Is winter finally done, Scott? Oh, well, hmm. <laughs> we've had it snow late in April and even beginning of May. But uh, we are looking at warm temperatures today compared to what we had yesterday. The warming trend will continue straight through this coming weekend. And next week, we're talking widespread 60 and 70 degree weather. We'll have a high of 50 today in Sioux Falls, 30 in Aberdeen, 36 in Pier, and 44 in Rapid City. More details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. After another winter storm hit western South Dakota, crews continued to clean up the streets in Rapid City. Plow drivers worked countless hours clearing the roads around town. Neighbors also helped each other out. People were seen shoveling and snow blowing driveways. The city of Rapid City issued a snow removal alert to clear the streets in the downtown core area. Ahead of this most recent winter storm, authorities in western South Dakota were called in to help out a miniature horse. The Pennington County Sheriff's Office says the rambunctious horse was found chasing mares off of Radar Hills Drive. Officials posted this picture of a deputy helping the horse along to Facebook. In the post, the department jokes that the deputy is now both a horse and yak whisperer. Officials say the horse was eventually returned to his owner. And despite the most recent blizzard, a new bison calf was uh, born and arrived at Custer State Park. The park posted these pictures of the calf to Facebook, saying that the herd manager stumbled across them after the storm. According to South Dakota Game Fish and Parks, the bison herd is around 1,400 animals at the state park. The U.S. Department of the Interior says bison calves are typically born in late April and May and can weigh around 30 to 70 pounds at birth. Meanwhile, a friendly competition among downtown Sioux Falls brewers has its champion. Five local breweries crafted five beers for the seventh annual Mash Madness. This year's winner, a familiar one with Covert Artisan Ales, claiming its second straight title. This year was Pineapple Whip. Um, it was inspired by amusement park um, confections with the pineapple and the soft serve and sugar cone, something that you would want to drink on a hot day. DTSF says the event had an overall economic impact of more than $150,000.
That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Bunt. Scott. All right, good morning, everybody. Futurecast for today. Trying to show a couple of flurries right along the border of South Dakota and North Dakota. They will travel to the east. Expect mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies today. There may be some areas of fog tonight in central and northern Kettleland. We'll try to get rid of that fog as we do go through the day tomorrow and continue to bring in the warmer temperatures. And I think that trend will last straight through this coming weekend as it looks like we'll have mild air in southeastern Kettleland. Of course, over the snowpack, the temperatures will be slightly cooler. Here's our forecast for today. And we'll hit 30 in Aberdeen, 32 in Mobridge, 36 Pier, 44 in Rapid City, 50 today in Sioux Falls. Tonight will fall to the single digits, teens and 20s. And then for tomorrow, expect highs in the 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s. You can always check the details of the seven day forecast as the warmer temperatures will continue straight into next week. Those details are here while you're online. Have a great day.